for his reaction to the budget. I'm joined now by Shadow Treasurer Angus Taylor. Angus Taylor, welcome to the programme. Good to be with you, sir. We just heard a discussion, uh, some debate there from Tom Crowley about the way in which this may or may not influence an election. Are we looking at a pre-election budget? Well, it's certainly a political budget. Uh, an extra $315 billion in spending since Labor came to power. That's over $30,000 for every Australian household. Sarah, uh, and I'm a just very... going to push back on that figure because I think my colleague David Spears did the same thing at the weekend, which is that that's not since Labor came to power. That's a, well, that's a figure that spreads over the Ford estimate. So let's yes, let's but, but, but that is the not increase. confuse people. But, but hang on, no, it's very important. Funding the the baseline was the last budget they were left from us, mm. and since then over the Fords they've added three hundred and fifteen yeah, so they billion spent dollars. It. Anyway, and, and, back to and your point. Be, well, mm. except they plan to, and this is the point. And if you plan to spend a lot of money, it's inflationary. We've got a 16% increase in spending over two years and the economy is only growing at closer to 7%. So that's spending growing at double uh, the pace of the economy. And that takes you to a $43 billion structural deficit in two years' time. Now, that's inflationary, Sarah. All right, let's... Uh, and, let's... and, you know, it's, when you've got $4 of spending for every dollar of savings, you're not fighting the inflation dragon, that homegrown inflation yes. that so many Australians are suffering We've from. just had a long discussion about that. We'll, we'll, the results on that will come. But let me talk to you about the budget today and your immediate thoughts mm. on it. So earlier on today, you were talking about the great pain mm. beating down on households, pensioners, young people, those with mortgages. Mm. So do you support the government's billions of, sub, billions of dollars in subsidies to those struggling Australians? Do you support that? Well, what's clear in this budget is they're not going to the source of the problem. They're putting a band on a bullet wound. Let me just we, stay we, with that we, particular question. Do you support but, those but, uh, th this is it, the cost con of living the, relief? The context measures. is incredibly important, and I will answer that question, but the context is hugely important. Um, you should be dealing with the source of the problem when inflation is raging. The government isn't because it's a political, big-spending budget designed for an election, not for an inflationary cost-of-living crisis. Now, when you, all you've got is a Band-Aid to put on the bullet wound, um, that's what you do, and that's what—that's all that Labor is offering here. Um, so we, we will support that, but not because we think uh, that's ultimately the right answer. Labor has failed to deliver the energy price reductions they promised before right, they came yeah, to power. But let's be and, yeah, and, not, and this not, is all, not due until this next year. But let's just talk about that. So you will support the government's uh, cost of living relief going out to Australian households. Sure, but this budget makes clear that they're not going to deliver that promise on electricity price reductions, and that's the, the result of that is this is the only band-aid to put on the bullet wound that so Labor's left it. if you'd been in government, what specific measures would you have brought in to squeeze inflation? We, we, would, have, we would have, in the energy sector for starters, been driving more supply. But, but most of all, we would have been showing restraint, making sure that the fiscal rules are in place uh, to... Uh, to fight inflation. What does that mean in practice? It means having a rule in your budget where you grow the economy faster than you're spending. Well, we've got spending in this budget over two years growing twice as fast so does that mean as that, the economy. Does that mean that the opposition would have been looking at an austerity budget? No, it's just, it's just restraint. It's what every economist is saying right now. There needs to be restraint. It's not scorched earth. It's just sensible. Now, this is not a restrained budget. Four dollars of spending... Uh, for every dollar of savings, Sarah, that's not restraint. We've got $13.7 billion in this budget, billion dollars of handouts to billionaires in production tax credits. I mean, that's not a restraint. So you don't, you don't support money going to Twiggy Forest or to Gina Reinhardt as part of Future Made in Australia? You, we, we, we do not support, support those production tax credits. I mean, $13.7 billion is a massive spend. You know, if you want to get those resources sectors really firing. I worked in those sectors for many years before politics. You've got to drive down energy prices. You have to make sure you do the approvals in a timely way, not 14 years, which is the average. But on the, on the principle of Future Made in Australia, you don't object to the idea of, of in a sense, picking winners. You don't object to that. Well, we absolutely you just don't want like to, these winners. We want to see a successful manufacturing mm -hmm. sector and particularly minerals processing, which is what a lot of the so focus be, is on there. So you'd be prepared to we, well, well, pick I, and back specific that, individuals that, and companies? That's not what I said, if I can mm. finish. Sure. Uh, we, we, we strongly support having those sectors being strong. We want them to be strong, and they have been strong in this country for a long while. But the way to get there is to focus 
on the fundamentals, not to throw money at them with subsidies. We don't support the $13.7 billion of production tax credits. There's much else in that MIA bill that we'll work our way through. Uh, and, um, you know, there's many, many questions we have about right, the Right, but to be clear, you would, you would take away those tax credits. The production tax credits, we, 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 we cannot support uh, billions in handouts to billionaires, no. Angus Taylor, it was, a, it was brief, but thank you very much indeed. We look forward to hearing more from you in the days ahead. Good on you. Thanks, Thank Sarah. you.